Chances are that after you create a chart, you'll want to make some changes and customize it to your liking. All the tools you need for that are under the Chart Tools section that appears when you have the chart selected. So I'm going to click the chart, and now I have the Chart Tools section on the ribbon bar with three tabs underneath it. If you don't see that Chart Tools section, it's just because you don't have the chart selected. Now you can scroll down to see it a little better. I'm just going to move the chart up here so we can see the whole thing. Before we start formatting it, let's say you decide that you want this chart to be on its own sheet. See down here, we have our data sheet, which is where all our data are, and then we have sheet 2 and sheet 3, which are blank. So make sure the chart is selected. Click the Design tab here under Chart Tools, and over here on the right, click Move Chart. Now, right now, it tells you that it's an object in this data sheet. Click New Sheet, give it a name if you like, click OK, and Excel pops it onto its own sheet. And you might do this if you want to get a bigger printout. Maybe you just want to see it a little bit more clearly. Maybe you want to print out just the chart, and you don't want any of the underlying data getting in the way. Now, if you change your mind, and maybe you want this chart back on the data sheet, sure, right now, you could undo. But let's say you save it, you close it, you go away for a few days, and you come back, and undoing is no longer an option. Well, what you do here is under the Chart Tools section, under Design, you click Move Chart again, and now we can make this an object in that data sheet. Click OK, and it comes back, and you notice that chart sheet has just been removed. So now we can move this back. All right, maybe let's stretch it out here a little bit. Right now we have our series is in columns. Right, we have columns for quarter one, two, and three, and that's what's in the legend. And if you're never really sure, oh, gee, is the series columns or rows? I don't know. The legend is the giveaway. So right now we have a quarter one series, quarter two series, and so on. Let's click over here to switch column and row. It's just a little easier to look at. It'll be a little easier to modify in this exercise. So let's go and format this chart so it looks a little bit more olive-ish. So with it selected, make sure the Design tab is active. And over here, click that down arrow. And you'll notice as you move your mouse pointer around, there's no updating to the chart. It's not dynamic here. So just click one that you like. This one is kind of olive-colored. Now let's insert a title above the chart. So click the Layout tab. And over here, click Chart Title. And let's choose Above Chart. So it gives us a placeholder, and let's click in here. I'll just select that. And you don't even have to delete. You can just type right over it. So I'll call this Billions of Gallons Sold. That's a lot of olive oil. Now, if you want to format it, you see you have this dotted line around it. Best thing to do is click off it. Anywhere on the chart is OK. Then click back on it. So now you have a solid border instead of a dotted border. Go up here to the Format tab. And you see you have these word art styles. Click that, and you have all sorts of options here. And choose one you like. Don't worry about the color just yet. I'll choose this one here. Well, that blue color doesn't really look very olive-ish, so we can change it. Go up here to Text Fill, and choose maybe a green fill. And you see it keeps some of that formatting as well. We could also add a reflection if you like. Go up here to Text Effects, Reflection, and you could apply some sort of reflection. And if you roll your mouse over some of these options, you can see how it's changed. I'm just going to take this one. It's kind of subtle. We could also format this sort of as an object and give it a background. Leave it selected. And over here, under Shape Styles, click that down arrow. And if you roll your mouse over, you can see all these different shape styles. And I'm going to go down here to this kind of rounded green look. And there it is. Now, if you decide you don't want the reflection on that rounded look, you could always go back to Text Effects, back to Reflection, and turn that off. Now, let's do one more thing here. Let's take a look at the numbers. If you notice here, New Jersey is the fourth bar. And if you just roll your mouse over the fourth bar here, you can see there's New Jersey in the first quarter, New Jersey here, much higher number in the second quarter, and New Jersey back down to a smaller number in the third quarter. Well, we don't know why that's happening, but you might assume that in the second quarter, that New Jersey number is an outlier, so you might want to highlight it a little bit more than just having it green with all of the other bars. So here's what we do. Click that bar there, and when you click it, you notice that all three of the New Jersey series bars get selected, and over here in the chart also, it gets selected. Click that quarter two New Jersey bar a second time, and just that bar is selected. So that's not a double click. It's really a click, hesitate, and click again. So just that bar is selected. Now right-click your mouse on it. And from the pop-up menu, you want to choose Format Data Point. 
Now, if that says format data series, it means that you don't have that one New Jersey bar isolated. It means you have the whole series isolated. So you'll want to make sure just to get that one selected. So click format data point. And over here, choose fill. And you see it says automatic because it's simply picking up the style that all of the bars have. So instead, let's choose maybe gradient fill. Hmm, nice sunset color, isn't it? And if you click here on preset colors, there's other presets that you can choose. And of course, you can customize these any way you like. And you can change the gradient stops. You can change the color, brightness, and transparency. I'm just going to leave those the way they are and click close. And I'm going to deselect. So if you have to present this chart to someone and you especially want to show them that that New Jersey number is an outlier, this is a heck of a lot more obvious than it is than the number in this data sheet, wherever it is.